All right, with BFA around the corner, I thought I might as well talk about the leveling experience in Battle for Azeroth and how it feels completely pointless. What I mean by this is, in order to talk about this, I'm going to have to talk about what leveling means in a MMO. So, for in World of Warcraft, the leveling in every new expansion, essentially, it resets the stage. It introduces you to all the new systems, it, uh... It introduces you to all the new systems, it introduces the new story, and essentially serves to get you up to speed onto what's happening in the next expansion. This is, however, completely negated in Battle for Azeroth. And what I mean by this is, if you start Battle for Azeroth, what's going to happen is you're going to do the intro scenario, and you're going to get to the Troll Capital City. Now, from the Troll Capital City, you're going to have three options. You can go to either Nazmir, which is the... Uh, Swamp Place, Vuldun, which is the desert place, and Zuldazar, which is the jungle place. Now, from these three places, you're essentially going to pick one and start leveling. And so you're going to be killing mobs, you're going to be questing, and then you're going to get hit 111, 112, 113, 114, and you're going to realize that nothing changes. And this is a this is caused through basically level scaling. Now, level scaling essentially means that as you level up, nothing changes. There's no sense of power progression. You level up, all the enemies around you get stronger, and you don't kill things quicker. Things you were killing at level 100, you know, very difficult. You're still going to have a hard time at level 112, 113. No, there's no power progression. Now, previous expansions, especially Legion, got around that with the artifact weapon. Now, the artifact weapon essentially served as your character progression, and as you level up, you would pick traits that would change the way your character played, they'd give you boosts, they'd give you meaningful meaningful perks and whatnot that would essentially increase the way you played, and it would get you up to speed. So as you level, you'd get new perks, your playstyle would change a bit, and there was some sort of sense of progression. In this, the replacement is the Azerite gear. However, the traits you get from the Azerite gear are essentially meaningless. One, because you're expected to have the Azerite gear, they're gonna all the mobs are scaled for you. And two, the Azerite gear traits don't affect the way you play in really any shape or form. And coming from a Rep Paladin, your Azerite gear Azerite traits are essentially you get one passive. Like as you can see, everything is passive. It doesn't change the way you tra uh, play in any way. You get one. Uh, you get one essentially survivability perk, and this is very, very minor, and then you get a five item level increase. So essentially, it's just like getting an increase in stats on your gear. And it makes no difference, because as you level scaled, you don't feel any more powerful, and it's just boring, if I'm being honest. Now, on top of this, this, this as well can be negated. The whole fact that, you know, leveling up, you don't have any power progression. If you have one big overarching story, you have a goal that you need to meet before you can go in and, you know, do what you want to do. And I'm going to use Wrath of the Lich King as an example of what I'm talking about. So in Wrath of the Lich King, you start off, you get your foothold in Northrend, and once you get your Northrend foothold, you're essentially going around and, you know, you see zones in the distance that are, you know, they, they're like five, six levels out of your reach. And you go and quest through the easier zones first. And as you get more power, you go into the harder zones. And the whole goal is until you penetrate, you know, Ice Crown Citadel and you're up against the final, the Lich King. Essentially, it's a big siege on the northern end on the Lich King. Now, in BFA, you don't get that feeling. And I don't blame Blizzard for not getting that feeling, as with the level scaling and the whole three three zones, they can't build any sort of overarching story like this. They can't build a giant end goal, because they have to split the story into an arbitrary set amount to do the goal. Now, you do get a bit of that overarching story in the end game, but that's once again, it's the end game. It's not actually being introduced to you while leveling. You can kind of do it with the whole, uh, you know, with the whole Warfront quests, or not the war, you can do it, kind of do it with the whole uh, horde quest where you go to Cool Terrasse and set up a base, but that's actually completely instanced and you do it once and you're completely done. And you don't actually get the whole story progression until you get hit max level. Now this means that on top of there being no large story progression, you essentially have no character progression on top of it. And what this leaves is this leaves level leveling as just feeling like you have one giant bar that you have to hit, fill up to finally start to play the real game and get the real story. Now this just leaves the question of what's the point. 
the further emphasize the lack of content you level up is not only do you not get any new gear, any new abilities, anything while you level up, all the mobs are the same, the only thing you unlock by leveling is at level 115, you unlock one dungeon. A single dungeon, and that is it at 115. That's the only thing your level is tied to. And then it just leaves the point, what's the point? And I don't, I, I'm not making this video to say leveling is terrible, it should be removed. Honestly, leveling is a key element of any RPG. What I'm saying is at this point, Blizzard has basically modernized World of Warcraft to such a point that there is essentially no reason for leveling. All their big storytelling is actually told in the endgame, any overarching, and their leveling storyline is actually spoiled through LFG as you join... Because what I mean by this is, you know, you do a dungeon and you'll see big lore characters from your questing experience in that dungeon. And that's because each of the zones culminizes in one large, in a dungeon. So you'll see these characters in the dungeon. And it makes no sense when you're there through the dungeon finder. And then when you finally realize what's happening, there's no suspense because you know, oh, this character, we're going to kill him in a dungeon. So it's, nothing's going to happen to him while we're leveling. So this is the big problem, and it just ends up leaving this taste that's to what's the point. And furthermore, to really emphasize why this is a big deal, is this is the first 15 hours of the game that a new player will see. And I think it's a stupid uh, argument to say, oh, well, it gets better at endgame, because that first 15 hours is what any new player or returning player is going to see. And people who don't look up online, they don't look up anything, are going to sit there, they're going to play a couple hours, and they're going to think, well, there's no point to this, like, what's going on? I'm not getting any stronger, I'm just playing and killing things over and over and over again, and then they're just going to say this sucks and give up. And so, you can't use the argument that all the good stuff is, you know, for max level, because then what's the point of even having a level? If you're not progressing your character, you have no overarching goal that you're trying to reach, you're not, you know, uh, uh, penetrating through a giant blockade of enemies going deeper and deeper into the heart of this new land there's essentially no reason to have levels and it's just what's the point now that's my thoughts on the topic if you have any other thoughts please talk about them in the comments and whatnot and thank you for watching